Hello, this is an update to Hair Shader for HD Render Pipeline in Unity and I've managed to fix a few issues that a few users were having with the hair turning it purple. Not only that, I've added a little new feature to the hair itself, so I just want to show you what I've done here. Uh, I've added something called Variation Modifier which changes the masking of the red channel, kind of swaps them around so that you can go between these two values more apparently, so if you had something like white and black here, you can swap those tones around and you can sort of fine tune that. Uh, there's a lot of nice things that this hair shader can do, uh, such as mixing different colours based on the root and tip. So you get a root colour, you can change to whatever you want. Uh, I usually like that quite dark and the tip colour can be a little bit of a lighter version of the hair tones. We've got the bump power, just to show some of that normal map coming through. Uh, how metallic you want the hair to give it that really kind of, uh, I guess, kind of colourful sort of shine. You can change the highlight position so you get the two highlights and the strengths and how much they spread out. You can also change the colours of these you know, to be something a bit more kind of cartoony and funky. Uh, you can go over the top with these, so it's good to be kind of less generous with those and also to shift the hue of each of them so they're a little bit different. It's golden looking here, so you can change the strengths of that or opponent and yeah, the strength of the exponent and position of each so they kind of overlap. And this here, as you can see, it looks really nice when you start moving it around. I recommend getting a mad go uh, for this so if you go to the asset store here and you look for something called mad go AA it will help get rid of all this little noise and things here and I guess I can show you that. Just need to wait till it connects. Let's check the game view out just make sure it looks good. It always does this in initially and then it'll fix itself. There you go, see it's fixed itself now. Uh, that already looks quite good with the built-in anti-lacing um, that comes with HDRP, but if you want, Madgoat also supports HDRP. Just do a search for Madgoat. See, I've already bought this one. It's SSAA and resolution scale. Totally recommend it. It helps. Uh, you're pretty much pushing performance limit now um, because not only does the hair shader cost a little bit, it's HD render pipeline, so it's expecting your computer to be quite beefy. Uh, we've got the skin shader built in here. This is Unity's own skin shader that I've just fine-tuned to match this. I do want to work in an eye shader. Uh, I've got one for standard render pipeline, but I really want to make one that suits this workflow. The skin itself works nice. I'll supply the head, the hair all the same, and just you know package this together. But that will be a while, so if I import this, it's quite cheap as well. I've recently put the price of hair, uh, hair shader HDRP up because I found myself doing a little bit more maintenance with it. Okay, it looks like I already had it imported. That's good. So what you want to do is go to the hierarchy and just delete that main camera and then add a new camera and then you want to add to that just do control shift F to make it look the same uh, you might want to change the near clipping of this uh, if you look for near clipping here and just reduce that you'll see that the preview now looks better um, and if you do add component I'd go SSAA and you look at the game view you'll see that it's uh, not done anything yet until I tell it to use something like, you know, two times, and that looks really nice. Four times if you really want, but I think two times does the job just nice. And yeah, that's pretty much what you should be doing there. Uh, I've managed to fix all the problems. I don't see any uh, major errors coming up in the console anymore. Uh, it used to be when you'd click on this, you get a whole bunch of errors, or they would show up purple and. 
uh, there was problems with the alpha basically I just clicked on a few things updated to the latest HD render pipeline uh, updated amplify shader rebuilt all the shaders uh, pretty much everything I could do is like even some things I just touched them and moved the slider like this you know for the skin I just moved some of the sliders and it fixed things uh, you can see you can really kind of play with these values and get some nice subsurface scattering play with the thickness and masking uh, yeah the coat mask and yeah that's that's a pretty nice shade I've not really made a lot of things that make the most of it but I think it's good to go already you can play around with that directional light and the strength and stuff to see what kind of uh, effect you can have I don't know where the little slider's going let's see, change that to 5 and you know, move this around you see it reacts nice with the the hair as well and you get this nice little clear coat shine so let's just change that so it's the clear coat, coat mask. Put this remap to make the, the thickness a bit different. Uh, subsurface masking. Anyway, so that's the skin that's built into Unity. You might want to just make that quite low so you don't get too much of it coming through. Let's just change these the size of these icons. But yeah, I've managed to update it and change a few things so it looks better. Again, using the new camera with Mad Goat, you can get you know a nice, nicer look there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys don't have any more problems with this. If you do, I'll just simply update it for your version of Unity. But now it's working for 2019.3, which was one of the main uh, problematic versions and it's all good so I'm going to save this and I'm going to upload it uh, if you've got any problems just get in touch by email and I'll get a copy to you if you've already bought this um, any questions or features you'd like to see let me know and I'm going to be working in iShader using HD Render Pipeline uh, I'll likely use Shader Graph if possible and I will likely do a video on that so look out for that and hopefully you can learn a bit cheers for watching I'll see you in the next video bye